Hey guys, so in this video, we're gonna go over how to download transactions from Chase account, Chase bank account, um, and upload it into QuickBooks Online. So let's start. Uh, when you log into Chase, you'll see all the accounts that you have with Chase here, and pick the right account. When you click on the account, here on the right hand side, you'll see download account activity. So click on that. Again, pick the account that you would like to download the transactions for. Pick the format you would download, like to download it in. I love doing the QuickBooks Online. This is my preferred method of downloading transactions. So let's click on QBO. Now, which transactions do I want to download? I'm going to pick a date range. So let's say it's from, I don't know, July 1st to July 13th. Never pick today's date. The date you're downloading the transactions on, never pick that as the ending date. Always pick a day before because this day is not done yet. So you're gonna get some transactions in, but not others. And some banks might not even send today's transactions, but it might seem uh, like today's transactions have been downloaded. So you don't wanna miss anything. So best thing to do is always pick a day before the day you're downloading the transactions. Okay, so I have my date selected now. Click on download. Okay, here, I got my activity downloaded. I'm going to my QuickBooks file. I'm gonna click on this uh, drop down arrow next to link account. Click on upload from file, select files. I'll pick my file, continue. Pick the right bank account you wanna connect it to. This is my account I'm gonna connect it to and continue. And that's it. This is how easy it is to download the transactions in QBO format from your Chase Bank account and upload it into QuickBooks Online. So that's it. Here are my transactions and we are done. And you're done. Thank you and happy accounting.